spread thoughts of goodwill to the people all around you. Start with yourself. Think about how much you want true happiness, and then think about other people want true happiness too. And when you look inside for true happiness, okay, that's when you're looking in the right place. Because that kind of happiness doesn't take anything away from anyone else's potential for true happiness. In fact, the more each of us is really sincerely looking for true happiness inside, the easier it is for everybody else in the group to focus there, too. So don't go around keeping score of who said what. Think about how, if there's going to be any goodness in the world, it has to start with you. You can set a good example for others. As for things in the past, you just let it go, let it go. Don't keep them festering in your mind, because then it makes it more and more difficult for you to have genuine goodwill and to act and speak and think in skillful ways. So you remember that we spread goodwill to others, but the immediate beneficiary is ourselves. Because as we spread goodwill, and we're really sincere about it, and really take it and put it to use. Our thoughts, our words, and deeds are going to get better, and we're the ones who benefit from that directly. So we don't have to worry about whether other people deserve it or not. What you think about is, I want to be skillful. And this is how skillfulness is developed. If you go to try, try and straighten out everybody else in the world before you sit down and meditate, you're never going to get to meditate. The world is always unfinished business. It's always an imbalance someplace. And the best way to bring things back into balance is to turn inside and find that the fulcrum point is right here, not someplace out there. So your desire for true happiness has to focus right here. This is where true happiness is going to be found. And it's a true happiness that then can spread out and have its impact on other people as well. It's the kind of happiness that doesn't create boundaries and helps to erase them. That kind of happiness is hard to find in the world. When you can find it, make the most of it. Making the most of it is not counted as greed, it's counted as discernment. Knowing where your true treasures lie, where true harmlessness lies. It's all right here. 